Don't get me, I was just picking my nose. Brett from Love Bats in the Belfry. Kelly and I recently went to a really cool toy store that we kind of stumbled on the fly. We were going to go to a Spirit Halloween. Do you think they're open? I freaking hope so. It's September. If we Google it, do you think it would tell us? I think so. Or I we can try calling their store and be like, and if they say hello, then they're open. I keep trying to like break my neck when I go past the mall. I'm like, is it there yet? But I don't think that it's on that side. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to Spirit. Stop licking. That was inside like one of our local malls that's normally there every year. Um, and it still technically is, but we had a hard time finding it. So when we were on the way there, um, walking through the mall, we stumbled upon this cool toy store called Attorney of Dreams. Doesn't work. Oh, you That's should get so it. so cool. Mm -hmm. They probably have that at Spirit, I feel like they would. It's $70. And they sell like toys and collectibles, like some used stuff and some stuff that's kind of hard to find. And, um, Super cool, we had a lot of fun in there. There's so much cool stuff here. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, we walked away with um, only two things from that store, but there were a lot of things that, you know, trying to stay within budget, you know, we could only, you know, slim pickings, you know, kind of walk away from. And so Kelly got something pretty cool. She got, they were having, they had a little horror section of like horror figures and other little things. Like Kelly found this, these little like gremlin stories um, that were on like a seven inch record that you could listen to and read along. But she decided not to get one. I don't know why, but. <laughs> I wish I caught that. This is so cool. I interrupted you. No, they're books, they're comic books, but look. That's really neat. They're stories. And you can listen to it on the record player and you can read along. Why don't you get one? They're not even that expensive. This is four. Yeah, get one. Six. I'm, like, you would be kicking yourself if you don't get one. <gasps> oh, man. They kind of, some of them look like they're in bad shape. I told her she should have gotten one. Oh, yeah. She did get this Beetlejuice booklet, and a lot of these booklets that were there in the little horror section were, um, they were kind of like just these behind the scenes booklets of photos of stuff. And so obviously Beetlejuice being her favorite movie, she had to get one of these. And um, there's some cool photos in there, and um, it's actually in Japanese. There's only certain lettering that are inside the booklet that, you know, is actually in English. but. There was one I wanted to get for, um, they had a lot of Nightmare on Elm Street movies and Dream Warriors being my favorite, they had one for that, but it was like 35 bucks and it looked really cool, but I saw, you know, there was something else I really wanted more than just a booklet. So, but yeah, Kelly got this Beetlejuice booklet. Can I see this one? Another group. They had a ton of figures there. I really wanted to get a Toxic Avenger figure that was there. Toxic Avenger is a really cool movie, but I kind of gravitate towards the Universal Monsters a little more, and they had one of the Invisible Man there. And this one was super cool and just a cool collectible to have. And, you know, a lot of, I guess I've kind of developed a liking for more toy stuff recently, not to like necessarily play with, but just to collect. And this Invisible Man is just super cool. It just really stuck out to me. And Kelly loves the creature from the Black Lagoon and they had one there 
but she kind of had some beef with it because for some reason they were wearing clothes instead of the figure just being the creature like it had like clothing on the actual figure but she's actually in the background just laying on the couch here but she's you sound lazy. <laughs> she didn't want to be in a video today i guess you're never in videos hey <laughs> yeah because i'm making this video on the fly so yeah yeah, yeah, Kelly's on dog duty. Like, the dogs just never leave us alone when we're trying to make a video. And they bark, and they're trying to jump up on us all the time, so. And then, now we have another threat, because anytime we make videos, Golden Boy's always in the background. You have to talk someday. Yeah, we went to Attorney of Dreams, and then we were able to find the Spirit Halloween store. And, actually, we didn't get much at Spirit. We just kind of walked around and just took in, you know, this... Um, the Halloween atmosphere. It was really cool. There was some killer clown stuff that Kelly definitely wanted to get, but it was a little more on the expensive side. Um, but what we ended up walking away with was um, we want more outside decor for the Halloween season. In our last video, I ended up buying this like one big giant um, like pumpkin type skeleton to hang up outside. And so we went to Spirit Halloween. These were a little more on the cheaper side. So we ended up getting two of these um, pumpkin tombstones. And they're pretty simple, but I just feel like we need more outdoor decor. And you know, this was a little bit on the cheaper side. So we ended up getting two of these. And then um, some really cool stuff at Spirit, but there was a lot of stuff that um, they had a bunch of really cool t-shirts, but none of them came in my size whatsoever. There was like a cool leather face one I wanted to get. It said like put on a happy face, but they had like a medium and an extra large. And I'm normally like three to four XL. And um, yeah, so what I ended up finding that like, it was like right when I walked in, I found it. I was like, I just need to get this. I just think it's a really cool like photo to own, but that is... Um, the photo of the kids from the school bus massacre from the movie Trick or Treat. And I don't know, I just love old photos and this definitely has that feel to it. And I love the kids from the school bus massacre in Trick or Treat. I think that's a great story, a really sad story, but I don't know. It makes you, you know, being a misfit and everything. It's like, I've really felt for those kids and everything. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up here. Hope you all enjoyed our little haul. Um, Golden Boy is gonna sign off as well. Maybe he'll go back to the closet he's staying in. Um, but he usually appears in random spots of the house without us knowing, so. Um, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up here. I'm Brett from Love That's in the Belfry. Thanks for tuning in. Say bye, Kelly. Bye. <laughs> bye, see you next time. I know, when it says silent, it's like the, everything the dogs do are just so loud. Hello everybody, Brett from Love Best and the Belfry. Uh.